Hey, what's up? Right, this joint workouts here, and today I'm going to be showing you some exercises for the biceps. Uh, contraction training, 8 to 12 reps, 4 sets, 30 seconds rest. Uh, you're going to be lifting 50% of your strength weight, keeping the weight light, so you can really isolate the muscles and work on the point of contraction. So the first one, side curls, you're bringing the weight up, you're holding for 2 seconds, and you're going to lower it down, keeping the tension. The key part is keeping the tension here. So this is going to work, your arms creating fuller and help to lengthen them. So what you want, you want your shoulders back, you want your knees relaxed, and you want to really lift from the point of the bicep. So use your elbow as opposed to lifting with your shoulder. So you want to keep your shoulders back as much as possible. The key is for contraction training to bring it to the point of contraction, hold, and lower it back down, keeping that tension. After this decline uh, curl, same principle. You go up to the point of contraction and you hold it and really tense, you bring it back down, keeping the tension. This exercise is great for building that peak in the bicep. So if you're bodybuilding, this is great for when you, you're doing the classic poses where you need your biceps to be on, on, on form. So you want your shoulders back, chest out, abs tucked in. As with all the exercises, your abs should always be tucked in to create a better physique. Okay, after this, I worked both parts of the bicep in one exercise. So what you do is you go to the top, keeping your shoulders back, abs in, then you turn and you lower it back down slowly. The point of contraction is at the top, so you're going to be holding it there, and then you're going to go down again. Abs in, shoulders back, chest out. This is great to work the front of the bicep on the way up, and as you turn and go back down, the outside of the bicep. So it's a great way to kill both parts of the arm in one. As you can see, lightweight, but the tension comes from the focus and the actual form and technique of this exercise. After this, I continue to work on the outside of the arm with um, incline hammers. Same principle, shoulders back, chest up, abs in as always. You go to the point of contraction, you hold the tension, and you keep that tension on the way down. This exercise is great for using the whole of the arm because you have to stretch your arm all the way down and then that's when the exercise begins for the next rep. So this is great for the outside of the arm, especially trying to lengthen it to create that fuller look. After this, I continued with the outside of the arm, outside of the bicep, with, I believe, decline, yep, decline hammer curls. So this really puts a lot of focus on the muscle itself because obviously you can't really swing into it you've really got to stay stable using the bench so shoulders you want to try and remain in a fixed position as back as much as possible and you go down slowly you reach the point contraction you hold it and you keep that tension all the way back down abs tucked in as usual and this is a great way for making the outside of the arm defined and more peaked kind of like the same for the other uh, exercise for the front of the bicep it works in the same way on the outside so that kind of like the look where the outside arm sticks out to the side this is that's one this is one of my favorite exercises to be fair for that part of the muscle as soon as I do this my arms are pumped and they look good <laughs> which is the whole aim of our training to be fair especially for bodybuilding so as you can see, all the way up, holding, back down slowly. And this is obviously a light weight because it gets quite tough because you, you, you don't have a chance to swing or use any other muscles to help with the lift. It's all purely the bicep and putting that stress on the bicep. So that are my top bicep exercises for contraction training. So to summarize, 8 to 12 reps, 4 sets, 30 seconds rest. The aim of contraction is to reach the point of tension, hold it for two seconds and slowly lower it. You want 50% of your strength weight and you keep it controlled. Um, for the exercises, bicep curls, decline curls, standard reverse curls as I demonstrated, incline hammer curls and decline hammer curls. That's it. If you want to see more, please subscribe, like and share. Train hard.